What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lex and I'm back. I'm back from Ace Fest where all the drama went down. This is Ace Fest 24 hours later. I'm sick girl. I want to throw up in my Louis Vuitton bag. Ugh. That's how sick I am of all this drama. So let me tell you what happened. Okay, now that I'm I'm calm, cool, and collective, and able to get myself together. And a big thank you to all the supporters who left super thanks in the last video to help out with the waste of money that I spent flying there, then driving there, and hotels, and you know what I'm saying? It was just a lot. I just wish I was told, hey, don't come, because we're not gonna let you in, like that, you know? But this is 24 hours later. Of course, I wasn't able to get in. My dear friend, Matt Catster, wasn't able to get in. But you guys were able to get in. And if you look on TikTok and Twitter, there's receipts popping up of what really went on. Welcome. Welcome to the Ace Family Festival. Hopefully my audio is decent. Oh yeah, it's real. And what's really interesting is the ticket sales. Now, no, let's not forget that Ace Family had said that there will be free games and prizes. Well, here's a receipt we got from TikTok. My friend is asking how the prices work. And then, um, for the milk pad, the water, the water, right here as well. Those are one. Okay. So it's one oh. ticket? What, what, what do you want to throw? The oh, dart. the star, the yeah. dart? You gotta land it in the white of the dart. The dark's in the white, so it can't be around the turn of the blue or red. Where's the blue? There's no blue on it. tickets and you got to make it in the star twice. Oh. Wait, where do we get the tickets? I have no idea. People oh. have them, but I just came straight to the back. Oh, so really? I, I don't know how okay. people are getting them, if they're buying them, or, but they're tickets. You can play for free, but to win, it is these kind of tickets. Oh, okay. I'm not using my ticket, are you? No. Can we give it a try? So y'all heard that we have to pay more to buy tickets in order to redeem the prices. It is so fucking hot right now. If you've ever been in Lancaster um, Fairgrounds, you know it's fucking hot as fuck right now very interesting team and i want to say thank you guys in the comments because you left a really good comment and it goes like this i also can't get over how rude the employees were to you guys like y'all were so pleasant and cordial not making any type of scene or causing any problems and they spoke to both of you so disgusting and unprofessional and honestly downright effed up they let you pay for your ticket and then told you that you weren't allowed in what type of additional bs scam is that scam the house crazy and i also feel like you know being in hollywood and growing up i've dealt with worse monsters in hollywood okay it's not my first time at the rodeo and i kind of felt like they were kind of trying to bait me on camera the camera's in my face and i'm getting taunted i don't know why i don't know why i'm like girl please i'm not new to this i'm used to this okay and the cameraman oh the amount of receipts that you guys have sent in about the cameraman who allegedly worked for the Ace family who was trying to bait us to be combative, the gayest things on YouTube, so they can probably spin it around and say we did something. You see, this is why they were acting like that. Like, oh, no, no, no. Another comment goes as follows. So there are some serious red flags here. Cash only. Allegedly. Allegedly, there was cash only. I heard some of the vendors wanted cash only for the food. I don't know if that's true or not. I wasn't there. But apparently, here we go. Sounds like they either are trying to hide income or they couldn't get the place on credit and they wanted it cash, only to ensure they got paid. They're eliminating anyone who could find fault with the, what they're doing. Three, it's tiny. Four, bait and switch regarding parking prices and being included. Five, bait and switch on the size of the function being held. Six, having their camera crew instigating issues with people likely for the sole purpose of developing a fallback for why it failed, like they were being targeted. Kicking you out and not giving a refund is just grimy. They didn't do it prior to you going all the way there. If there were people who weren't invited, they should have public made it clear to you to be removed. 
The whole thing is one big breach of contract. They are snakes out to get money and screw people out of money because they mismanage their finances. You know, I really did try to keep it classy. These are the opinions of you guys in the comments. And I just want to say, it really, it really is moving to, uh, damn, my last girl. It really is moving to have people like Matt Catster, T-Sesh, T-Spill, Adam McIntyre, so many more. I mean, we got Dustin Daly, Peter Mond, Sloan, and the countless other names that, that that I'm just off the top of my head, so forgive me. The Bolin, people have just, in support of, of what happened, of uh, it's not right that you guys got kicked out, it's not right that you guys didn't get let in. And I understand, you know, I, I see it like Chanel. I see both sides of it like Chanel, okay? I was in courtroom and courtside, like I understand it. Maybe they see it as, we don't want the bullies coming to our party. I don't see myself as a bully. There have been other commentators who said worse things about them. I just literally wanted to go to the festival. I drove two hours, flew three hours, hotel room and board and food. I just want to go to the festival and see what it what it is, what it do, what it what is it about? Because if there's truly nothing that is a problematic about it, there's nothing to report. You know, I literally, from what I saw from the pictures, it was a little carnival, and you could meet the Ace Fest while you're there. Okay, from a marketing standpoint, you know, there was no backdrop to take pictures with them. There was no, you know, you, you want a theme, right? Like, if, if you're going to have a theme park and a, a, a carnival, you want a theme. Like, look at, you know, Travis Scott had a theme. You enter his festival, it's his face, right? Like, you want big budget production. If you're going to do it, I'm from Texas, girl. So go big, go home. The bigger the hair, higher to God. Just go big. Make it, make people be like, oh, they spent a little coin up in here. But to me, it just seemed like let's rent some rides and let's have a little festival, right? I was not there to cause drama. Drama follows me. I simply was there to record what was happening. And what basically what I wanted to do hundreds of other people did themselves they went live i feel bad for mad cast caster honestly because he spent hundreds like this his ticket alone was like what six hundred dollars or something right there like he spent a lot of money my little piddly 130 dollars for the ticket wasn't nothing i bought it the day before which you could still purchase tickets the day before so i thought it was sold out remember so it's just interesting to me and then you got uh other people you know i'm not even gonna go i'll let them speak for themselves but you know all i can do is speak for me but I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for the support. Um, I do feel like I was mistreated because I'm gay. Because, you know, the two gay YouTubers can't get in. Harmless gay YouTubers just reporting the news. And you know what? I do feel like it is kind of sad on the Ace family. Because, you know, from a marketing PR standpoint, I do feel like if the Ace family was smart enough, they would have been like, Hey, uh, let me reach out to these channels. Let me invite you. I got you. Come for free. I want to prove to you. That there's nothing shady going. It's a fun little carnival, girl. That didn't happen. You know, I've been in Hollywood, celebrity news and gossip for years. I've talked about the big ones. And guess what? Still get invited to their functions and parties. There's no drama. They understand it's a gig. They understand it's a, it's a sore that cuts both ways. One day this press loves you. The next day they don't love you. And they love you again. Like it's You know what I'm saying? It's just, I'm media. I'm press. Some people don't like media and press some people use it to their advantage to get popularity and hype you know i do think that it is easy to to you know point fingers at the ace family because they did x y and z i really do think so but this was an opportunity for the ace family to turn the tide to say you know what there's nothing going on here and let me meet you and maybe let's take a photo if you want to but what it comes down to me is too much arrogance ego and pride the fact that they don't let some people in, the fact that they view any type of criticism as haters, drama, toxic, bad vibes. How are anyone supposed to grow if you can't do it? People have questions. And you know what? I'm going to be 100% authentic in this video. I don't follow the Ace Family drama. I have, what, over 2,000, 3,000 videos on my YouTube channel. Majority of them are Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star, James Charles, beauty drama, reviews, stuff like that. I only have, like, what, four or five Ace Family videos? Girl, I'm, I'm nothing but a, a little small 
small little fish in a big ocean when it comes to the amount of other people who've made Ace Family drama videos. Now, Mad Cats, on the other hand, he's made he's made a lot of videos about him, but I think for him in particular, they should have been like, that's the one you want. This guy's making a lot of noise on YouTube about us. I want to bring him in. I want to talk to him. I want to prove to him that what we got going on here isn't shady. And maybe it was all just a misunderstanding. Okay. I don't want to fight with anyone. I don't want drama with other YouTubers. I've been on the internet for years. I've already been through all that years ago with other drama channels and people and fighting. A girl is, oh, half of them aren't even around anymore. You know, I just want to make my videos and get along. I don't want to fuss and fight with them. That's why when they when they said, when they security pulled us aside and said, so what do you want us to do? It's like, what do you want me? I'm just trying to get in the festival. I didn't even want to say that. I'm, All right, I'll go home. I get it. I get the gig. I get the, I know when I'm not wanted around here. But the truth all day long is if I would have went into the festival, the people who were there probably would have lined up and would have been a meet and greet about me. Who knows? I could have had them lined up from here all the way to the 105, to the 304, to the 308, girl, all the way down that freeway. But, you know, some people, they just have to be the only star. It would have been cool. That's why we all should just start DramaCon. DramaCon 2022. We'll have it in Las Vegas in the, in the Cosmopolitan Ballroom up there, girl. We'll, have about, we'll sell about five tickets and then no one will get their money back. And, just, you know, that's the drama. We're going to have drama con. We're going to sell tickets and merch. And the day of, no one's going to show up. That's what you got, got con. It's, that's the drama, girl. But anyways, I just want to say thank you guys for, for the love and support. And thank you to my sponsor, Manscaped. I'll put the link down below for sponsoring me and helping me get through these tough economic times. That, you know, it really, it really did put a dent in my pocket flying out here to Hollywood for uh, absolutely no reason at this point. But, you know, when I think, when I think about it, I wouldn't have wanted any other way because if I would have went to the festival, I would have recorded on my little phone, my little, my heart little phone, I would have recorded, all right, there's food, there's restroom, there's some games, there's Ace Family down there or something. Yeah, I'm going to ride a ride. All right, cool. See you later. No to report. It is what it is. Kind of small. Born in the house. The fact that I got kicked out, didn't get let in. Girl, talk of the town. Talk of the town. Everyone in Hollywood and Beverly Hills, we're talk of the town. Did you hear about the drama song I got kicked out of Ace Fest? And they're gay, the two gay ones. Ooh. Oh, my God. Anyways, we'll see. I'm sure the Ace Fest, Ace Family will put up a video on their YouTube channel. And they'll have amazing footage of people having fun and just the crowds and crowds of people who were there and you know hype it up with b-roll and stuff like that and music and it was so great guys we're gonna have one next year we'll see see how that goes but and good for them and good for them right no ill will i was just there you know i love theme parks if you watch my instagram story i'm at universal studios hollywood i'm at disney I love Knott's Berry Farm, even Magic Mountain. Like, girl, I'm at the mall. I love a good theme park. I, my opinion, this was a little carnival inside a parking lot, and they slapped Ace Fest on it. I knew that going into this. I already knew what it was. Can't you I didn't fall off the turnip truck yesterday. I already know. But I wanted to see it for myself. I wanted to go live. I wanted to hang out. Interesting, they let other YouTubers in. Who make way more worse videos than I ever did? Just interesting. Maybe, maybe I maybe I got kicked out because Mad Ca I was with Mad Casher, but this is interesting. The whole the whole ordeal was very interesting though, and I really want to know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. And um, and again, I just I just can't thank you enough for the outpouring. Every like, every you know, I can't get a like to save my life. I can't get a comment in this video to save my life. Much as a subscriber. But I love you guys. But thank you guys for yesterday's video. I was I was really I was really taken back by the love and support of the drama community, of the beauty community, of um this the, the community in general. Cause we may not always get along, but you know if, there, if something ain't right, you know I like to think that we tend to band together. And I'd like to thank the the viewers too. You know watch who you want to watch, like who you want to like, and support who you want to support. And I just want to say thank you because I saw some comments from people that I haven't that I haven't seen in years up in this thing. Oh my God, can this happen to you? So thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. And it just means a lot. And again, thank you to my sponsor, Manscaped. And you know, it just it really 
it really warms my heart and I, I don't want it to be missed upon me that I, I don't want to be those YouTube, that type of YouTuber who just, you know, doesn't say thank you is, you know, I would be nothing wasn't for you guys. I wouldn't even been able to come on this trip. It wasn't for you guys, even though it didn't go the way I planned, but just the, just thank you for that. You know, every, every view, every like, every share really helps out. And it, it just from the bottom of my heart, most importantly, thank you for the privilege of your time for allowing me to come out here and do it. And if I have any, if I have any words to the Ace family, I would say I didn't mean any trouble. I, I, don't, I didn't want to bring any drama. I just want to have a good time and see what the festival was about. But apparently, I mean, there's, there's videos on TikTok going viral about stuff that injustices and things they didn't like and, and even videos on YouTube and clips and stuff like that. And so, I don't know. Very interesting how it all went down. And I am hurt by it. You know, I've never really been like not let in into some place because I feel, and my, I feel I wasn't let in because I was gay. I feel that way. Two gay YouTubers, the only two gay ones can't come in. That's how I feel. I'm allowed to feel that way. Whether the Ace family would ever apologize, I don't think so. Because, you know, apparently some of these YouTubers, they can't apologize, save their lives. They have too much arrogance, ego, and pride. But, you know, it just, it would have been, it would have been more, I would have taken it easier if maybe security would have said, this is why we're not letting you in, or we don't want no tra drama, we don't want any of that. So, you know, just keep it cute, keep it cute. You know, something like that, but just to be like, how they handled it and the and I have I have it all on video. There there can be there can be because you know girl I can't, I'm I'm I walk like this everywhere. You got something to say? I'm right here. Keep it real. You they cannot say that I did this. I did that because the moment I got out the car in the parking lot, I was already vlogging. This is a festival. Here we go. I'm gonna go pick up my ticket. From the moment they can't say I was disgruntled. I was angry, I was rude, because I have it all. There's even a guy, if you watched my other video, the first one I posted yesterday, there's like a, a Ace Family fan waiting to get his ticket, he has a puppy, and I'm sitting there interacting with the puppy and petting the dog and just waiting to get my ticket, just hanging out with the folks, shooting the breeze. But I don't know, it just seems like this was a really good opportunity for the Ace Family to turn it all around. And again, they dropped the ball. And again, I have to say, too much ego, arrogance, and pride. The whole entire thing, but I'll let you guys go. <sighs> I don't know, girl. Let me know what you think about that drama. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I love you so much.